Well, it was a pretty easy stretch, that was. Um, we uh, were very lucky. It looks like the grade has gone ahead of us. Uh, hopefully it's all the way in Dallas. Make it very simple driving. Um, we've just taken a little side detour at a place called the Mac Clark Conservation Area with Max, Molly's wife from the old Andado homestead. Um, so it's obviously husband. named after him. Max, Molly's wife. Uh, <laughs> probably her husband, actually. Mac is <laughs> Molly's husband. Um, so yeah we're on the track into uh the mac clark conservation area which um is home to an acacia that's not found in many places in the world very rare tree apparently um it's a 9k little detour off the binge track in here um it looks like it's been graded as well although it is very wet so we'll just see how far we get if we can get all the way in great i can see some trees on the horizon maybe that's them um, and then we've, we'll head back to the bins and I saw a sign saying Alice is 250 k's roughly so uh, we'll stop somewhere in that 250 k's overnight and uh, then we'll finish the rest tomorrow. thousand of them in this um, reserve you can see it all the way over the back there all the way around which drove through all that acacia puce it's a member of the wattle family um, how old are these trees 700 years old some, some of them wow years. it's amazing this latin word means pine like because of the way they are shaped almost like a pine tree just opened the visitor book and these little guys were there You forgot to put the window up when you go through the water crossings. Back on the binge track now, I've uh, been driving along. It's pretty flat, graded, sandy, um, quite easy really, like just a 80 k's the whole way, no corrugations, nothing. Heaps of bull dust blowing up behind, um, but uh, yeah, the drive was pretty pretty relaxing really. The landscape didn't change much until now, we've just hit these mountains, uh, we're in deep in this valley and there's ridges all around us which are really cool. Um, I think it's about halfway to Alice Springs from the conservation park, so uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. There's these big patches of bull dust that we keep hitting, like this one right now, um, which are fun. the cows and they're uh, and the cows in the paddocks are all sitting down and my limited knowledge on this subject I think that means that it's a low pressure system and there's potentially rain on the way I want to be here in the rain I'm honestly trying to get out of this would just be the biggest sloppy mess but we'll keep an eye on that um, we'll make a decision about whether we're going to pull up and camp or we might even just push through to Alice and wrap up the episode not sure yet stay tuned Okay, spoke too soon. I've uh, just pulled up at a gate to get through and then noticed that all the, the graders are parked up on the side of the road back there. So that's where they stopped grading. And uh, now we've just hit this really rough patch and 
the roads narrowed right down and huge big bulldust pockets. I just went through one. I didn't think I was going to make it through. Um, hopefully not many more like that one. Uh, I've still got about 100 k's to go. Yeah, landscape dramatically different with, this, with these cliffs all around us and so on. Um, keep ticking along and see where we end up. Bit of fun. Just uh, found a little free camp. We pulled off the uh, main road in um, followed a wiki camps goat track, which was the wrong one in the, originally, but we ended up in the right spot eventually. Um, after a lot of hectic reversing and a lot of cussing, we got here, which is bloody awesome, I reckon. Um, Arkarura, I think it's called, range, something like that. Arukara, thank you for the correction. Arukara range, the big sandstone range, it extends all the way through, and you can see over the back there and all the way around. Uh, and on the other side of the road as well. Pretty cool little spot for our last night on the bins, I reckon. Um, sitting on a bit of clay here, which does concern me if uh, we do have any sprinkles out of those heavy clouds. Um, we're going to need to get out of here really quick, so we'll be ready to move if we need to. Get back onto the main track, and that just scoots back to the road over there, which is five minutes, and then, yeah, an hour into Alice, I'd reckon. So see how we go. Just on top of the hill, straight above the van, and there's this this rock here is holding all of this, and it's just sitting in there. <laughs> that is massive. Well, that would work it all the way down to the bottom and probably crush the van. That'd be pretty funny. There's a little cave in there. I'm just going to go and check that out. Something's been dragged in there to its death. Yeah. This is a uh, reminder not to walk up here at night time. These things are everywhere. Yeah, what an awesome little free camp that was. Um, sitting up against that uh, rocky range, it was amazing. Um, sun reflection on the afternoon, hitting that um, the rocks just changed colour about five times. It was amazing. Um, just back on the road, binge track again. It's got really corrugated. Uh, we've only got an hour to go, so hopefully we get through okay. Back into Alice, but just uh, saw our old mate flying up over the top of us uh, in his little gyrocopter. I'm not really sure what it is, parachute machine. Uh, we met him in Dalhousie Springs and again in um, uh, the Andado Homestead. Him and his wife, retired couple, was cruising around the Land Cruiser with that on the back. Um, what a way to see this valley. Uh, it's awesome. Just um, scary as hell, I'd imagine, in that little thing buzzing, but uh, pretty cool nonetheless. Yeah, so we're just on the way into Alice, as I said, and um, I'm not sure how the condition of the road will be. The grade has stopped back where we camped, actually, so... Um, she's still going to be pretty rough, I reckon. I'll check in later. Well, the last bit of this track's been fairly brutal. Really rocky. And this is what we got. Right there. The other tyre pressure alarm went off. So I get to use my tyre repair kit, which I've never used before. So we're going to have to learn how to do it. So we're going to have a bit of a crash course in fixing tyres. I've never done this before, so um, 
we'll just have to see how it goes. Never even opened this box. Let's try and pull it out, whatever it is. Looks like a rock. Sure, that's even it, is it? It's not even that rock, it's in front of it here. Seems counterintuitive to uh be making the hole bigger, but that's it. Got it. I don't know, there's no air in it, so I'll we'll have to pump it up and find out. But um, I'm assuming one of these is a little cutter of some sort to cut and trim those off. Yeah, it's even used valve stems and everything. Never even opened it, as I said, which Probably should have figured out how to use it before I'm sitting on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere, but chuck some air in it. I've got the compressor in the van. I think the line reaches to here. I've also got another compressor in the back if we need it, but I reckon the one from the van will probably reach over to here. Let's go and grab it. So that's the tire pressure monitoring system. Did a video on that if you haven't seen it. I checked TPMS, which is the same as the kit I've got that says as well. The Melbourne Company. Got someone approaching. See the dust. Just got it back up to pressure and put a bit of detergent in there, and there's no bubbles. I think we've got success. Definitely be keeping an eye on it though. Quick roadside repair, looks like we sorted it. I've been keeping an eye on the pressure on the dash here and it's um it's maintaining pressure which is good. I think I've got a, I've got too much pressure in the tires. I need to probably drop some out for the rest of this trip, I think. The road is absolutely cactus. Uh, like what I'm doing about 15 k's an hour at the moment because it's just shaking the car to bits. Um so we're just gonna take our time for the next bit and um, hopefully get there in one piece. I noticed yesterday after a bit of rough track that 
quite a few things were vibrating undone, like the little clips on the side of the composting toilet that hold it in place had vibrated out and I had to put them back in. So it's going to go around and check everything again this evening when we get to the destination and let's make sure it's all in one piece. This isn't much fun at the moment. Um, hoping that it will uh, improve when we get to Santa Teresa and the road from there on into Alice. Hopefully it's a bit better. This is the worst I've ever seen, I reckon. Dooly, we have been shaken to death. Um, I just flattened out a bit and I started the road got okay and I got a bit of confidence up and got a bit of speed up. Too much speed it looks like. Hit a pothole and looked in the rear vision mirror and um, I thought the caravan was going to end up on the roof of the car. She was bouncing. Uh, got it and checked her over. Seems okay. The airbags and the, and the dual shockers on each of those um, independent suspension sides are really absolutely copping it. Um, I just got reception, phone reception. It's the first time we've had reception since we left Udnadatta, the township of Udnadatta. So it's been four or five days or something. Uh, messages are pinging through. Just about to come up to Santa Teresa, which was a, used to be a uh, Catholic mission, I think. It's now a community um, just outside of Alice. It says that's 10 k's to the uh, Santa Teresa. And then I don't think it's much further to Alice. I don't think my car or my caravan is going to take much more of this, so bring on Alice Springs. <laughs> Check in soon. back on the blacktop. Uh, fuel light just switched on. Uh, I think we've got about 20 k's into town. I'm tracking to the United Petroleum Servo on the outskirts of town just to get that diesel. So if anyone's wondering, uh, it's um, a stock Ranger 80 litre tank will get you all the way from Mount Dare to Alice towing a homemade caravan. <laughs> Including side trips and backtracking. Um, yeah, it's been an awesome trip. Uh, we'll call it the end of the episode there though. Thanks for uh, dialing in again and uh, appreciate the support. If you haven't subscribed, it really helps the channel out if you can just click that button. It's free and you get uh, alerts and you'll be able to see my new videos coming up. Um, yeah, like buttons, comments, let me know what you liked about that. I think it, uh, it's definitely the road, the road less travelled for me. Um, felt like we're in the middle of absolutely nowhere a couple of times there, which I haven't experienced yet in the van, which is awesome. Uh, it's the whole reason I built a van was to get onto those sorts of tracks and out in that sort of country. So, fantastic. Anyway, thanks for dialing in. Cheerio for now.